It's the mat work. I just dropped a song today. I uh, had it posted on all like the major streaming services and stuff. And um, I just wanted to know if anybody had uh, some type of like gorilla type of marketing tactics that may help me out to just get it to more people and have people hear it. Uh, yeah, that's basically my question. Okay. So is this streaming platform specific or is this just in general that you're talking asking? Uh, just in general, uh, I have it posted. So uh, what I've been doing is like, I'll make a whole video of the song and I'll throw that on IGTV. I also will throw it on YouTube. And then it's also on like Spotify, Tidal, Apple. Gotcha. How much do you know about your potential fan base? Uh, I know that my fan base is like majority male and it's majority people between 18 and 30. And I know that uh, they say that my sound, a lot of the times is kind of like Tyler, the creator, kind of like uh, Max O'Cream and kind of like, like Joey Badass. Okay. Got you. So, and when you say gorilla, is this, do you mean free gorilla or do you just mean something alternative than typical promotions? Uh, when I mean, when I say gorilla, I mean like, I know it's probably going to be exhaustive when it comes to effort, but I mean just gotcha. like getting people's faces and just like, even if I'm flipping people one by one to become listeners and fans, I, I feel like that is beneficial if I'm doing that piece by piece over time. Got it. Okay. So, when it comes to this man, it's, it gets pretty simple, right? Because now it's all about just going to where the audience is and getting the attention. So one of the most popular ways, I'm saying these ways because they're, they work. There are some other things that can sound cool, but I know for a fact these work again and again and again. One, in the real world, wherever your audience is, pop up and perform. How can you do that? One of the cool, cool ways to do it, the easiest ways to do it is wait till the artist or a similar artist is in town and you either open for them or you either pop up at the, uh, outside the concert and do a little pop up in the, um, in the parking lot or whatever. Like I've known people who, you know, pulled up, popped out of the U-Haul and performed. There's all kinds of things you can do around that. Like, but just going to where they are in the real world, pop up on them. You don't necessarily need permission. Just make it as cool as possible, especially if you think you're going to have a more Tyler type audience uh, or it's somewhere in that pocket of things, right, where they appreciate creativity and a little bit of rebellion, then definitely um, utilize something like that. Real world, something a little bit more scalable because you, that means you don't have to wait for those type of occurrences and congregations to happen is going to these people's pages, all right, as simple as that, going to these people's pages, when I mean Tyler, I mean Tyler's main page. You know, Tyler's too big right now to go to his page. Um, but like his his fan page, right? Or some Maxo's fan page. Whichever one of these people you feel like would be similar audiences, go straight to their followers and hit them up individually again and again. Hey, I see you. You rock with Tyler, the creator. Um, he, he's, a, he's a dope inspiration of mine. Can you check out 30 seconds of this song? Let me know how you like it. If it's trash, I understand. Whoop, whoop, de, whoop, de, whoop. Like I, I have no problem asking that. And everything I said was intentional, All right? One, showing that this is how I found you and this is where I like, and I relate to Tyler, give him a little entry there. The 30 seconds is a, a serious thing because it does give them a small commitment, right? Give people small, small commitments and they're more likely gonna listen to more than 30 seconds of the song, right? That's enough for them to get a vibe. If they like it at the beginning, and they'll probably continue to listen, right? They're not gonna be doing a little stopwatch um, for most people. So once you get them listening, and then also the, you know, whether it's trash or not, just let me know how, how it is. That portion of it is intentional because you need to take any of the awkwardness that comes from people saying that, I don't like this shit away, right? Because people don't wanna say something bad to people that they don't know most times, right? They, so they rather just avoid 
the whole interaction in the first place. So do those things and you do that at scale. And that's easier to do at scale than, like I said, popping up at concerts and some of these other things because all you just have to do is take the time. It's manual, like what you ask for, but you have a lot of numbers to work. So you could be doing that for the rest of the year with pretty much any any artist that you think makes sense for you fan base wise. Now, uh, follow up question on that. Um, have you noticed it to be the most successful doing that via DM or Instagram yes. comment? DM. And these people will answer these DMs from people they don't know just because they probably don't get DMs often is what you're saying. A lot of these people, a lot of these people aren't, you know, out there popping or even living, trying to do the whole I'm cool on social, uh, Instagram type life. Yeah. So a lot of these people, you're one of the few DMs that they have um, for, that from people they don't know. Um, and two, it's a numbers game. There's going to be a lot of DMs that don't get answered. Some of them will be because they're like, you know, like if this random rapper person, I don't want to be talked to. Some people will just not check their DMs and they just don't know what's happening, right? Or some people will forget. Like it's a, all of it is a funnel, just like any portion of marketing, right? You start with the top and then some people will actually see it, right? And then some people will actually respond and then some people will actually listen and some people will actually listen and give feedback. That's a part of the manual process. But it'll be doing it in that way. The, the steps that I talked about are going to be the steps that help increase the conversion of people. Got you. Thank you. For sure. I can piggyback off of that. Um, it does work when you DM them. Uh, I go by Charlie K. I'm out of Minneapolis. Um, just piggybacking off of what you just said, like, does the, does the DM work versus the comment? I actually use your method, Brand Man, where you just go into the DM and you just hit check DM, capital letters. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure if y'all familiar with Alex Tume, but that's um, Thug's engineer or used to be Thug's engineer. It actually worked. He actually did DM me back, and it, you know these people are real. Oh, you commented check DM. Yep. Oh, that's okay. It. You had sent him a DM asking yep. to like collab or whatever. Nope, not even a collab. I'm just like, yo, I know you're Thug's engineer. I'm inspired by your work. You know, this is this is my song that I just put out. Appreciate the love. But boom, left it at that, and he responded. So and he, he listened to real. I don't know if he listened to it, but he definitely responded back. So it works. Just just to say that. Yeah. Word. And what you won't want to do with most people though, um, in the beginning, most of the normal people, uh, is do the check you and thing at first. They don't respond, then you go back with those people. Right. But the people like him, like the MR industry professionals and things like that then yeah, definitely just start with the check DM out the gate. Yeah, got you. Because I knew I would never get to Thug, so I'm like, I can get the closest to Thug, so. Best way to do it, best way to do it. You can't, and look, if you couldn't get to his engineer, get to the, the person at the studio who's running running the studio, you know what I mean? Like, yep, all the way. 